its ingredients in their freshest, rawest state. An early start, the weather's not so great. And here we go, crossing the little bar on the way out through the entrance. Darren Reggiano has had more pre-dawn starts than the rest of us have had hot whiting dinners. Starting work while the people who will ultimately enjoy the fruits of their labours are still tucked up and cosy in bed. Just standard routine for the skippers and crews who work in this Bass Strait whiting fishery. By the time the sun breaks, they're well into their day's work. Yeah, probably a bit over, maybe. Yeah. 0.8 mile. Yeah, about 1.8 to 2 knots. 1.8 knots? That's slow, tough work, and an indication of how precise commercial fishing is in the 21st century. Well, here comes the net now. The two boys are going to actually pull the net in around this section here, up over the top, and that'll pull the right in nice and tight. Have a look at the seabirds out the back. Just insane. <laughs> what a sight. That's incredible, eh? So Jordan pulls her over, I think. And this is what we'll be doing in a minute, mate. <laughs> you got your muscles ready? <laughs> Whiting, here we come. This is the first of a half dozen trawls that this crew will do today. They're using a seine net in a fishing technique that's been around so long it's depicted in ancient Egyptian wall art. I wonder if those long ago fishermen attracted as much attention as this from the seabirds of their day. Tell you what, you don't want to get down too close to those birds. Hey. Yep, right up. Move out of the road. The net gear Reg and his crew use is a modern Danish seine. It's a trawling technique that limits the gear's presence on the sea floor to about a half hour for each time they shoot the net. This, along with careful navigation, to ensure they avoid reefs and run the net only along sandy bottoms, has proven by recent research to virtually eliminate any trawling damage. Yeah, well, real mixed bag, loads of whiting in there, some really nice sized flathead, whole pile of different species. A real mixed bag of fish, but the majority of fish here are the whiting. But there's one of your whiting, and they're unusual fish because they don't grow that big. That's probably your, your average size. We're boxing those up at the moment. Hauling the net in might have been hard yakka, but the real work kicks in when that huge mass of fish has to be sorted and packed into dozens of boxes that will transport the day's catch to the markets. It's exacting work too, sorting through this amazing kaleidoscope of shapes and colours. But I'll tell you what, we've got a, a lot of whiting. Look at these whiting now. When you sort of think about sand whiting, you're often thinking about fish over 30 centimetres. Well, these ones grow up to around probably 28 or 30, it'd be quite amazing. Yeah. But uh, a 25 centimetre, 20 centimetre whiting is probably about its limit. But look at this big guy. Hey, he's a, he's a monster. You'd think after a sorting session like that, the crew would earn a chance to chill out. Well, they do. Down in the cold room, keeping the catch fresh for market means icing it down fast. And today, Chef Simon and I get to be the coolest guys aboard the good ship Nabelle. The boxes just keep coming down, so the rate of ice shoveling has to keep up with the pace. And after all that, Simon and I get our turn on the net coming up. Aboard the trawl and a fell, it's time for me to go to work. Well, this time out, it's Simon and my turn to bring those nets in. So I'm going to get one bat just here to show us how to do it. Then I'll try to get involved. And well, we're getting pretty close at the moment. It's a bit of anticipation. This is the hard work here. <laughs> do this in the restaurant, mate. Get in there. Have a look at the seals. They are just everywhere. And there, there come the big albatross trying to get their easy feed straight in. Not quite as big a haul as the first one, but for a couple of newbies, it was a muscle stretcher just the same. What about that? It was a bit hard work pulling that net in. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not as easy as it looks. I think these guys do about six or seven shots a day, hauling her in and putting her back out and then sorting through the fish. A fair bit goes on to be a commercial.